is a difference between you and me. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Hi guys, I'm Grabby here, and this is a DC Legends video. In this video, I'm going back into the PvP Academy. Um, this is going to be episode two, well, maybe technically episode one, whatever, however you want to say it. I'm going to say episode two. Um, and this one, I'm going to go over strength up, strength downs, agility ups, and agility downs, and then building teams with those um, buffs. Now, just to give you a brief um, overview of what strength ups, strength downs, agility ups, agility downs are, those are, and in fact, let me go back this way, and I'll go through the tunes themselves. So, strength up, strength down. Now, and this is something that I had confused in the very beginning as well. I'll take Superman up as an example. Strength ups actually only affect the amount of damage you give in a um, match. So, it temporarily increases the amount of damage you can give for a strength up, or temporarily decreases the amount of damage you can give for a strength down. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people, and in fact, let me just go ahead and go to Arcus, for example. A lot of people will say, okay, well, when you stack up a lot of strength ups, that would also affect their defense against those things. And no, that is not true. What affects your physical defense is actually the agility ups. Agility ups will give you a higher defense against, um, a higher defense against physical damage. Agility downs will give you a lower defense against physical damage. The reason why I brought up Arcus is because Arcus ramps like a madman. He gives himself tons of strength ups. However, he's still a glass cannon. So he'll have 400 strength ups, but at the end of the day, if you touch him, he'll break. Same thing can be said, or not same thing, but a similar concept that had me confused is also with Black Mask. Black Mask, when an enemy dies, a uh, tune that I do not use very often, as you can see. Uh, whenever an ally dies, Black Mask gains crit immunity, applies three strength downs and three agility downs, two buff immunities. Now, here's the thing. The three strength downs, that is making sure that the enemy hits weaker. The three agility downs make sure that the enemy is more susceptible to physical damage. So, that is how... And then also we'll go to uh, Terra, for example. Terra as you all know, gives her agility ups. The reason why this is great when you're running Terra with Barda is because those agility ups will temporarily increase the defense of all of your tunes. Uh, Barda will give stamina ups, will temporarily increase the HP pool of all your tunes, making them so much harder to kill. Now, when, and in fact, let me go ahead and flip this page over. Now, when when are you going to use strength ups? Now, basically, if you're in if you're in the very beginning, you're going to try to build a team that is just as strong as possible because your roster is not going to have very much depth. So you're going to treat it more like a basketball team. You got your starting four, the the best tunes that you have, and then you work around and try to fill in the gaps to um, with substitutions and things like that. You'll have uh, let's say for example. Let's say I build this with Superman. You know what? I'll build it with the farmable one first. Let's say I'm building this team with Cheetah. Cheetah's farmable all throughout Heroic Campaign. Um, she starts off by giving the entire team strength ups. So everyone on the team will get temporarily, will that deliver physical damage, will temporarily have a boost in the strength damage that they can give. Now, that being said, so for example, if I put Star Sapphire in, I may put her in for a different role. However, I need to also know that when she gets those strength ups, that's not helping her damage at all because Star Sapphire is a special damage tune. The only way to increase the amount of damage that she can give is by giving her int ups, not by giving her strength ups. So it's not really useful there. So what I'm going to do is put in a tune. Let's see, what do we... Oh, why did I do this to myself? All right, so what we're gonna do is, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put Batman in. Batman is a physical damage tune. He is farmable all throughout Heroic Campaign. Ugh, you Barda. All right, and I actually just put a video out on dealing with Barda too, or I just recorded it, didn't just put it out. Um, so now, dealing with Barda and Azrael. Now, another tune that's farmable in Red Alerts is going to be, where are you at? Where are you at? Power Girl. She's a really, really good taunter in um, early and mid game. 
end game, she's still useful. Now, she also has a special ability whereby when she has a certain number of strength up, she'll start giving herself death immunity randomly, giving herself overheal, things like that. So she is really good. And then, see, here's the issue. Here's a problem. Here's a problem. Here's a problem. I want to one shot Spectre with Batman first. The strength ups will ensure that he's also going to crit because he has the invisibility. Now, I want to put in Red Robin. That's who I usually use to give him True Sight to take out Spectre. Then we handle Azrael as as you know the the match progresses. Plus, giving those three strength ups from Cheetah to Power Girl will mean that her A three hits harder. And that's her AOE attack. So for those of you, but what's the farmable option? If, the, if there was a farmable option, then I wouldn't be using Batman. Should I try to do an all farmable way to beat this team? Well, I'm doing PVP Academy, right? Maybe I need to think of an all farmable way to take out this team with Barda on it. So I've given you explanation of strength ups and agility ups. So I'm going to build a team that is going to be um, physical damage based, not special damage based. I do want to have Power Girl in there, and those strength ups from Cheetah are a great help. I need to take out Spectre somehow, some way, and I do not want to get Kilowog up and running. Or not Kilowog, Azrael. Now, I thought Kilowog, because Kilowog is also an anti Azrael solution, but he's also not farmable. He has an event coming up this month, but he is just not farmable, so I'm not going to use him. Uh, let's see, who else could I put in here? Physical damage, that is farmable. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do the whole thing. Let's go ahead and do the whole thing. I need to find some inspiration. All right, so I need, if I had True Sight, that would be great. If I had someone to strip the taunt off of Barda, that would be great. Now, what I could do, hope to do, is use Cheetah to strip that buff. Oh, wait a minute. Now, as I just say that, this was a suggestion that I gave before, and I might, mm, nope, but Lex is too slow. I might put Lex in off lead. The reason being is I can use Lex to give buff immunity, but Cheetah's still gonna go first, so that's gonna create a problem for us. So I might as well just stick with Cheetah. Mm. All right, so I was gonna say, I was gonna use Lex's A1 to give that buff immunity to uh, Barda while also stripping away the taunt. However, in this scenario, Lex is going to literally go last. And Cheetah, her A1 and A2 are going to hit. And I'm just assuming that Azrael is going to proc. So I'm not going to use Lex in that scenario. That's, yeah, that was my thought process there. I may, may, may use Hawk Girl to stun. Stun would be one of those more useful things right now for Barda and Azrael if I can strip the taunt off of Barda. All right, I'm gonna, I'm, that, that's what I'm leaning towards right now. That's what I'm leaning towards at the moment. Another solution that I'm kind of thinking about is Harley Quinn, because I, if I have the chance of enraging them, that would help me out a lot. Uh, Hawk Girl is farmable, I think it's chapter six, chapter five, chapter six. Harley Quinn farmable all over the place if I put her in. Huntress does not have true sight, so that's not gonna help us. You know, let me go with this first. The idea here is I'm going to try to strip the taunt off of Bard. I hope to God she doesn't proc, but Azrael probably will. Then I will try to stun Azrael, then one shot Spectre. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how it goes. But all these, oh, excuse me. Wow, did I just hit puberty? All these tunes um, are physical damage based, which means those strength ups from Cheetah are going to help out a lot. Now, and that's from the offensive perspective. I'll give you guys a def defensive perspective after that. So the idea here is to strip the buffs. Fingers crossed, nobody procs. Although my luck, all three of them are going to. Here we go. Oh, <gasps> nobody did. So now I can one shot Spectre with Batman. Those strength ups helping. Boom. Azrael does proc this time. I got stupid lucky right there though. I can't even, yeah, I'm not even gonna act like I didn't get stupid lucky in that moment. And that stun was great for Barda. Ooh, but Azrael's going off. Let's see if Power Girl can get things back going. Let's see. There we go, stun on Azrael, stun on Barda. That's what we like to see. That is definitely what we like to see. Um, I'm gonna keep hitting Barda. 
Stun on Azrael. Come on. Ah, no stun. Where's the stun? I need the stun. I don't want to proc Barter right now. I do want to try to take out Azrael. Let's see. Come on, one more hit. One more hit. That gummit power girl. That gummit, what you doing to me right now? Now, um, oh, he's so ramped up right now. He is so ramped up right now. Um, I'm gonna try to hit him anyway. Not gonna help. Ooh, I'm glad he went after. I'm glad he went after Batman though. All right, so let's see if we give him that silence. Nope, he has that buff immunity up. Oh, does he still have the buff immunity up? Oh, Olympia needing some attention. Don't worry, I'll be done soon. So does he have that buff immunity up? Does it? Yep, he has the debuff immunity up. So the better bet is to try to stun Barda so that she doesn't draw attention. He's going to go off, of course. Thank you for attacking Batman, though. I really appreciate you. All right. So, nope. Yep, got the stun on him. Got the stun on him. So we might be okay. Batman is invisible. We got the... Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Boom. That took out a good bit of damage. Should I try to hit him? Or should I... Let's go ahead and taunt. Get these strength ups up. Have her hit harder. Try to... Uh, oh, that is what is up. We got them. We got them. We got them. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, so. Oh. So, that is basically how the, 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 the building of a strength up base team. I'm trying to move my arm so she doesn't like get in the way. Um... And right now, Power Girl's about to hit Beast Mode because she has all... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, also on her A3. Damage to all enemies. Ignore shields. Plus 30% damage uh, if Power Girl has five or more strength ups. Also, be aware of things like that. This is why Power Girl is actually a lot of fun to run with Wonder Girl. And um, Wonder Woman, Coda, Cheetah, things like that. When they're all giving themselves strength, giving each other strength ups. Oh, are we gonna lose this match now thanks to Barda being a. Mm. Mm. Come on. I need you to go beast mode now. Come on. Come on, Power. I was so excited that I got rid of Spectre and um, Azrael. I didn't think about like all the other things I'll have to do to get rid of this team. Oh, uh, come on. Come on, Power Girl. Lay him out. Lay him out. Lay him out. Mm. I don't like you, Lex. I don't like you, Lex. All right, we can stun Lex. That's a good look. Okay. Should I take out Lex or should I hit? I don't want to hit Barter because in case I don't... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right, so we're good to go. Good to go. That was a hard-fought battle, but we took care of business. Okay. So, um... Some of the suggestions that I would go through next of tunes that you can use for stamina ups. Um, support wise, and in fact, let me go ahead and build it because this one I was just trying to do farmable. I'm going to build another team with uh, stamina ups, or not stamina ups, sorry. Strength ups, strength downs, agility ups, agility down, just how I would normally build it. So that, that was the farmable way of getting rid of that team. That was a little bit of pressure right there though. All right, so. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna go after the Red Hood Spectre. Okay. Now, one way to do this, I've already done it with Cheetah. I'm gonna take out Cheetah and put in Superman. Superman is awesome with the strength ups. Uh, also put in Kilowog. Kilowog is awesome with the strength, empowered strength ups, which empowered strength ups are double the increase of damage than regular strength ups. So I think regular strength ups, I'm not sure, it's like 7.5%. So that means empowered strength ups would be 15%. It might be that they're 5% and then empowered strength ups are 10%. I couldn't find the stats. I tried to find the stats on like the actual percentage that the damage is increased and I couldn't find it. So I apologize for that. Uh, Kilowog. Kilowog I like to use because those empowered strength ups get given out to any character that receives crit damage. Uh, Superman is going to taunt. A lot of times he has damage immunity, so it may not be the best, actually. Actually, what might be a better pair for Kilowog is Power Girl, because she does take a lot of damage, and she will get that death immunity up, if you, if, you know, hopefully. Uh, let's see. But Kilowog also stuns. He's an incredible tune. He is, in, this month, uh, November 2021, 
depending on when you're watching this. He is this month. He does have an event this month, which I would recommend definitely going after him. Another great support strength up tune is Hippolyta. Let's see, we could drop her in there. She's actually great for uh, special damage and physical damage just because she gives int ups and strength ups. And then, let's see. Now, you know, Yara Floor, she can one, she's a one shot beast on her AoE. She's a great nuker. I'm trying to think of if I want to go with her or someone else. Mm. Let's take, since I already have a support tune in there in the, in the vein of Kilowalk, I'm going to take Hippolyta out. Um, let's see. I'm looking at my list right here of other tunes, and I'm, I could just go down the list of the tunes, but support wise, lead wise, you know, Cheetah, Superman, I think are the best leads. Uh, as in terms of support, I would say Hippolyta, um, Kilowalk, even Green Lantern, John Stewart. I mean, you can use him. He's not the best. I think he's probably good early to mid game, but he's not the best tune in the world. So don't invest too much into him. Uh, damage wise, you have your Arcus, you have your Azrael. Right now, um, your Yara Floor, your Wonder Woman Kodas, your Batwoman, your Shivas. Um, we don't have a Taunter, right? So I'm tempted to put in Lady Shiva. But I like to run Lady Shiva with Cheetah most often because Lady Shiva can one shot. Let's, you know, in fact, let's just go ahead and do. Oh, should I do Lady Shiva? Or let's do Batwoman. Batwoman doesn't get much shine. I'll put Batwoman in. Although I will say this if Batwoman is in, it's probably better to use Cheetah, but I'm going to go ahead and try to use Batwoman anyway. I would like to have the Taunter roll is taken up by Superman. I don't really need a healer here i mean it would be nice to have but i'm not gonna get one all right let's see what happens with this let's see what happens with this let's go let go let go and then i think i'll build another team with the cheetah lead and then show like the strength ups teams that i try to build so that we can kind of like one shot slash nuke the other pvp team the uh enemy all right so here we go so see and this is the thing with if cheetah was there we get three more strength ups that means i would be more confident about her one shot inspector there's the problem although superman being an absolute monster kind of helped us out there and now we die oh uh, so new no. now i'm gonna do the same team with cheetah at lead here we go here we go here we go because you saw there, the Batwoman did do her little buff thing at the beginning, the A2 that she uses at the start of her turn, meaning that she's going to go, she's going to have a turn meter up on top of um, strength ups, which ensures that she's going to go first. I remember when I first started playing the game and I would go against Batwoman, she was first introduced and she would do that A3, A3 and take out two of my characters. And I was like, how did she do this? Like how I did not understand how everything worked. And so she was just ruining me. Um, and actually, you know what? I'll take, since I'm going to probably use, I'm going to use Batwoman as a damage dealer. I'm going to take Yara Floor out and I'm going to put Power Girl in because if she does take crit damage then she's going to get those empowered strength ups from Kilowog and she needs to be there to protect our team since Superman isn't there right now. All right. So here we go. So we'll get these three, we'll get these three strength ups from Cheetah. They will go to Batwoman. She'll be able to take out Spectre. Kilowalk, I could easily I could easily use the A2 on Power Girl and then just go from it from the, uh, go with it from there. So yeah, so as you see, she has now six. Or is it five? Six or five? Boom! She takes out two because if she kills one, she does it again. A3 or A2, I should say. Apologies. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give her these empowered strength ups. Uh, can she take out Argus with those empowered strength ups? Oh no. Apparently not. Yep, we got death immunity though. Kill a wall. This ain't what, or Arcus, this isn't what you want, bro. This isn't what you want, bro. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just wait on that for a second. Here's the plus side in case you guys did not pay, do not know that. Um, Arcus retaliates when he receives damage. If he has death immunity and has zero health, then he's not receiving damage. So feel free to hit him as much as you want. Don't worry about it. In other words, don't worry about AOE attacks or whatever causing problems. That should have taken out Red Robin. I'm sorry. Yo. In any case, 
We're gonna go ahead and try to wrap this up as soon as possible before Arcus just becomes a pain. All right, good. Thank you, Killer Wall, for stripping that death immunity. All right, so that is strength ups. Now I'm gonna go into agility ups just to show you. I mean, the, the concept of agility ups is pretty easy. In fact, what I might do is do a black mask Terra team. Now, the reason why that black mask team that some of you have run into is such a pain is because the agility ups he gives, or the agility downs he gives, and the strength downs that he gives, which means that already you're going to be weaker and more susceptible to hits, but at the same time, when you hit us, you're not going to be able to do anything about it. Um, let's see here. Do we have... Oh! Okay, so we can do it here. I am going to take... Well, first of all, let's go ahead and put Black Mask in there and Terra in there just as examples of. So here's the Terra. Now, here's the other thing, too. As I look at them, and this is where the agility ups and the agility downs do kind of matter. As I'm looking at the team, if I remember correctly, the only special damage to... Oh, well, I think Chemo might also be special damage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, can I check on these guys? You want to let me check on them? No. No, no, no chance. All right. Um, agility ups for her. And then I'm going to put black mask in for those agility downs. Oh, nope. He is an earthing male villain. All right. So we'll do that. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take Cheetah out. Just as trying to showcase some other tunes out there. Um, but as far as deep uppers go, with the agility downs, you have your Riddlers, you have your Black Mask. I'm tempted to put Riddler in in case he gets hit, because he does toss out a lot of agility downs, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and put a placeholder in, and maybe I will put Riddler in, because then that'll give us a better affinity balance. And then I need someone... And now we're going to use also the, buff, the debuff immunity to protect us against uh, po uh, Dr. Poison's AoE attack. Also, chemo is a big debuffer, so Terra will be very helpful in this scenario. Who am I going to use as, you know what? Let's put Yara Floor and just not have anyone at lead, for real, for real. Um, let's go ahead and do that, because she does hit like a truck. Cheetah's going to go first, and I have no taunter to protect us, though. Eh, I'll roll the dice this time. Bit, why not? Let's roll the dice. So. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Come on. Come on. So I hope this was kind of clear. Um, or I hope this was kind of clear. I hope this was clear. And actually, the, the plus side of the thing that I'm kind of hoping for is that somebody does get killed. Because then you'll see Black Mass do his thing. Uh, Yara hits like a truck. Oh, no, she did not hit that hard at all. Maybe she's just better when she's running under uh, Cheetah. Maybe I'll just run her one more time with Cheetah. All right, so let's go ahead and give these agility downs, making her more susceptible to physical damage. Now, she is a uh, Terra's a special damage. To oh, but see, as you look... Look at all the debuff, uh, the buff immunity. We have all that strength down. We have those agility downs that were added as well. So that means that when I try to shoot someone, they're going to be more susceptible to the damage. I didn't need to crit in order to cause those problems, in order to, to hurt. So everybody is weaker to physical damage at the moment. If I had Yara Floor up right now, it would be huge. All right. Oh, he's taking out. Oh, but that means... Also, let's see if we can just debuff the hell out of them. See what happens there. And in fact, I have thought that maybe I should build more like debuff teams, but I'm just. Mm. Ooh, wee. Come on now. All right, there we go. We got them up out the paint. Um, I'm going to focus on Dr. Poison right now because I know if I hit, if I hit. Chemo, I'm going to end up with uh, Doom. And I want to be sure to get them out of here. But here's the thing. Adding all these agility ups, slowing down a lot. All this debuffing is really helping us out to get through all of this, to be real. Um, all of this is making them so much more susceptible that we barely have to touch them in order to cause a good amount of damage. 
So adding these agility downs, sorry, if I keep saying the wrong thing, I apologize. Adding these agility downs are making a huge difference. Now we both have Doom. Well, let's just keep trying to debuff. Hopefully we can beat him in the next four turns. I don't know, I don't think so. We got a bleed coming right now from, yep, there goes that. Oy, are we gonna be able to do it? I don't know. I don't know. We might both die at the same time. That has happened to me before where like every tune died at the same time. And I think I still won based on that. Okay, cool. Straight. We got there. Yo, I don't know if I deserve to win that one. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But adding all those agility downs made it such that tunes that did not that would not normally hit that hard are hitting harder so um in whatever combination you would like to use them just use the strength ups and let's go ahead let's see can i find another one while i'm rambling in the background maybe i'll find something else to do but using those um maybe i'll just go to the aquaman event real quick do i have enough energy yeah i do so i just go to the aquaman event real quick build a team and then just give a brief recap uh where we at where we at where we at so actually i do like the concept of having riddler in there i don't want anyone to die so let's go ahead and put in some tunes that i don't use that often or who aren't that strong uh i'm gonna put you in as a placeholder i'm gonna put in connor kent i think he's good but not great if you build around him the right way is connor kent considered an alien i mean by birth but he was born on earth oh there we go all right, so Connor Kent, bet. Uh, as my taunter, I would like to put, oh, should have kept the placeholder. As my taunter, I'm going to use Power Girl. Uh, we're gonna use Riddler to give agility down so that everybody's hitting harder. And then Cheetah is going to be sure everyone has those strength ups. And there we go. So the way I built it is, while buffing my team with Cheetah giving strength ups, Power Girl giving herself strength ups, Superboy giving himself strength ups. Also, I have Riddler there to debuff, giving the enemy team agility downs, meaning that my tunes are boosting themselves up to hit harder while we're weakening the team's um, defense against physical damage. So that means that we'll be able to clear things out pretty easily. So in any case, strength ups, temporarily increase your uh, physical damage on uh, in a match, strength downs, temporarily decrease your physical damage in a match, agility ups, temporarily increases your defense against physical damage, agility downs, temporarily decreases your defense against physical damage. Hope that was a good enough explanation. Went through some tunes that have those attributes. If you have any questions or comments or like tips yourselves, please put them down in the comments below. I drop these such videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So please like, please subscribe. And if you don't like it, hit subscribe and hit dislike. I'm okay with that as well. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Go ahead and let this match finish off. I got to be fair though. Like, I mean, these are 7011 tunes. So, I mean, they're slapping though. They are slapping. Riddler's a beast too, man. I mean, really. Like, I'm not, I'm not much for debuffing. Gotta be real. I mean, you guys who've watched the channel, you know I'm not a big debuffer, but I mean, maybe I should focus on building some of these debuff teams more often. Weakening the enemy. It's a plus. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. And look at how many, how many strength ups does Power Girl have right now? Jeez. She's a PvE beast. In any case, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.